and there were others that, you know, Jeremy was uh, telling me to trust his instincts, you know, many months ago that right. Scott's the guy. So um, we're, we're glad we ended up here. When you guys first approached him, he, you know, that thing didn't work out. I know he wanted to talk to his president. You guys were trying to keep things quiet. Well, you know, I mean, this is obviously it's a process, right? Right. This is not, you know, go over and hire somebody, right? You know, I mean, this is not the, so the process had to take its time. It had to evolve, right? I mean, that was part of the, part of this whole situation. Right. But very, very high integrity guy, right? I mean, amazing, which it showed into that said, I don't want to talk to you unless we talk to your president right. first. Well, if, you know, the last thing in the world that we wanted to do was to you, to there, you, yeah. In particular, to hear yeah. that we were talking to him. So, therefore, we we had to work through that process to see when was the right time for us to go to be able to put him in the right calendaring of this thing. Obviously, we had to do this thing before October first, so we had a little bit of a, a you know back end here that we we had a deadline. Um, so, I think that uh, uh, I met with him before that in Birmingham at a whole places. Uh, I'm sorry, where? Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, Birmingham. That's, that's where we met. <laughs> that was your first meeting with him in yeah, Birmingham? because it was... Where at? What, what hotel? <laughs> oh, no. We, we went to have a... We, had a, we went to have French dinner together. Oh, really? He, he picked a French restaurant. <laughs> So I, I, you know, this is off the record, but a Cuban and a French restaurant, you know, I don't know. I know. Well, so anyway. Um, Got to stay away from the sauces. Right. So anyway, so um, the, we met there. We met after that. We and this was many, when? Sorry? When was it? Yeah. August. Uh, I, I came back from Europe on the 26th of August. So somewhere between the... That time, Late on. on September, yeah. you know, the end of the end of August. Did we, had, did we had had all the other candidates outside of Gainesville? <laughs> Everyone. <a> good move. <laughs> people from the West Coast and the East Coast, people on the East Coast, and, and never in their the hometown. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we did all that. So, but anyway, um, and it became very apparent, you know, like I said, that uh, that this was a, uh, a great fit. So. What did he say in June when you first reached out? What did he communicate at that time? That he'd be willing to talk to us. I mean, I, I think all along, Scott has been uh, interested in the Florida Gators, and that was very appealing to us. Um, you know, we wanted to, to look at the whole country and uh, look at all the, the, the people that have excellent reputations out there that might or might not fit. And uh, so it fairly rapidly, I mean, for us, three months is pretty fast. I know in the athletic world, that may not be so fast, but it, for three months, it moved pretty quickly to narrow down to him. When you, you know, this morning you said you got it down to two people before you made the decision, what really set him apart there at the end? Oh, it is, uh, it, to me, it's just his demeanor, his integrity, his vision. Uh, he gets along with everybody. That's really important because that as an athletic director, you've got a large number of constituents. You not only have coaches and players, but you got the public. And it was important to me that he be a leader on campus, as I said in my introductory remarks, that he work not only for athletics, but be a representative of the entire university. And he's that kind of person. You mentioned also his integrity. I was just talking to Jeremy Foley about that. He yeah. said, you know, you talk to people about his yes. integrity. What, what did they say when you talked to them about that? They, they said he's willing to make tough choices when he thinks it's the right decision for the people involved or the institution involved, and, and he's done that. Uh, so that's one example. He he will continue what Mr. Foley describes as doing the right thing the right way, and uh, to, you know following all the rules and, and doing again making decisions that I believe will be the in the best interests of the students first, and then the institution as well. With regard to the reports through the process of people you're talking to, how, how many candidates overall did you reach out to and interview and, and discuss and? Offer. There were, um, you know, we started with all of the sitting athletic directors of the the power conference, the autonomy conference. We started with all those, and went through all the names, and uh, they let me narrow it down uh, after after we went through it. So we narrowed it down to I think it was about 25, and then so about a little less than half of them. And, uh, and you know, we wanted, we wanted somebody that was going to be here for, for quite a while and not someone that wanted to come here and have this as a stepping stone to another university or to be a commissioner somewhere. Uh, secondly, uh, we wanted someone that had been successful, uh, maybe not quite at the same level at the University of Florida, but could demonstrate success with, with less resources, as, as Scott has demonstrated. And uh, so then we narrowed it down. It was about, I think, 12 or 13 people that we, we uh, had real 
intense conversations with and, uh, and then narrowed it down to about six and then there were two that, that they had me meet with. Yeah. Was anybody else offered the job before? Was no, nobody's been offered the job. No. How much is this SEC experience a bonus, the fact that you found someone from maybe within the conference that knows the conference? That I, I, th I think the advantage is, is that we know him real well because he's in the conference. Uh, I, I think we would have been, uh, if, if he had been in another conference, it, it, the outcome would have been the same, you know, Big Ten or another power conference. But the fact that he's in our conference, uh, our people here have seen him a lot. And our commissioner, you know, we, we, we called the commissioner of the SEC, Greg Sankey. Uh, I've spoken to him many times about this, and, and he, he gave us just a few names right at the beginning, back in June, and, and Scott's name was on that list of just a couple people, a few people. When you were whittling names down, what was the first thing that jumped out to you about him that kind of got him on that on that final list? Uh, it, it uh, you know, after we, after we called him, it was his real interest in being a Florida Gator. You know, some, some people, uh, they're just not sure whether they, they are interested in being at the University of Florida. He really was right at the beginning. And, uh, and that, it's a two-way relationship. You know, we, we have to want him. He has to want us. And uh, so that attracted to me. Secondly, that he is uh, a person who can take a, a wonderful program and make it even stronger. He's done that at Mississippi State. I, we actually believe he's going to do that here. <laughs> Uh, you know, it, uh, so it was those kind of those kind of attributes. In your interviews with him, was there anything in particular that he said that made you think, "Wow, this guy's you know the guy that we want"? So by the time I I met with him, a number of others had had met with him as well, and uh, so he knew a lot about the university. I didn't have to share anything about the university. He, he was so well versed, and uh, so to me, it, 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 you know, he's. He, he understands, I believe, the future of athletics. He understands the, the value of social media. He has, he has more Twitter followers than I do. He's like 20, 30,000. Uh, you know, those, those kind of things. He'll, he'll relate to, to the next era, the next uh, couple decades, I believe, going forward. And that, to me, is really important. We, we don't want to be doing another search in a few years. I apologize if you already went over this, yeah. but uh, the master plan, yes. you know, two weeks ago, the hundred million dollars. Yes. Are, are you willing to to borrow a lot of that, or 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 take out, you know, take a little bit of that on? Well, we're we're going to raise a lot of money. <laughs> we, we we want our generous <laughs> friends to, to fund all of it. But if we're not able to, we're going to borrow. Uh, we're going to make it happen. And you know, we decided to go ahead even even before. We knew that uh, Scott was going to be our next athletic director, that we knew this is important. Uh, now, obviously, he embraces it. Sure. Uh, he's going to be a marvelous fundraiser. Uh, he's going to raise a, a lot of money for, for, it, for the facilities, um, but we're, we're going to make that happen.